Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and now we're going to go ahead and do heroic mode for the League of Explorers Temple of Orsis. Not Osiris, Orsis. <laughs> and the first boss is of course Sinar. The difference, or at least one of the differences now, is that instead of just drawing a card, he also gains a mana crystal while giving your opponent a wish. Which means we can expect him to gain an insane amount of tempo as we get those free extra cards. So I'm going to go ahead and actually try to build a deck around this. Um, since I think for heroic mode, you usually actually have to have a deck that makes sense. So we probably want something that isn't too late game and is kind of anti-aggro. So I'm thinking maybe Priest with uh, Wild Pyromancers would be good. So we'll go ahead and grab that. I know that he's got a lot of one attack, uh, one health minions. Uh, we could also grab a Neutron, to be honest. That would be pretty good at countering things like the uh, the Wind Fury 3-1 and Wisps. So, let's see. Holy Smite sounds pretty good. Northshire Cleric is great. Uh, let's see. We probably want buff cards, of course. In case he gets stronger later on, we'll go for the Akanai combo, which is pretty standard in Priest decks. Um, if we're going to be playing Circle of Healing, we might as well play Injured Blade Master. Pretty solid early game minion. Let's see here. Dark Cultist might be better against an AI because they're not really going to play around the death battles as much. A Holy Nova and a Shadow Madness seem pretty reasonable. Throwing Velen's Chosen. Zombie Chow, of course, because this is supposed to be anti-aggro primarily. And I don't know how things are going to go late in the game. Would uh, Holy Champion be good, or would it not be? You know what, I'm going to throw in Death Lords. Just to have a solid wall. And also, I don't think he's going to get much value out of them, because half his deck is Wisp. So, let's see here. I mean, we could go for Death Rattle, I mean Death Lord Cheese, but I think I'm going to stick away from that a little bit. Let's throw that in. And you know what? Uh, let's go play with the new minion. Uh, not Reno Jackson, although I, I do want to play Reno. I mean, G uh, Genie of Zephyrus. Since we're going to be playing buff spells, I think that works pretty well there. What else do we want? More two drops? Do we actually have any good two drops, really? Uh, Resurrect is reasonable. Okay, yeah, sure. We can try Resurrect. Hero Genie. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it with this deck. Heroic Zinar. Alright, kind of afraid I'm going to be actually playing too slowly. Oh, you know the Wild Pyromancer is even better because those, wish those wishes are free AoE spells. So Pyromancer is actually fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't think I, I need a one-drop so much. Or do I? Maybe I do. I shouldn't underestimate how quickly he's going to tempo out of control. Okay, the Zombie Chow. That, that's good. 15 extra armor. Wow, well, that's standard. Okay, Zombie Chow. Let's see what he's going to play. Two mana on turn one. That's a little silly. <laughs> Rock a weapon, alright. That's fair. Two Rock Biter weapons? Whoa. That is a horrible play. Is he actually going to use that to hit this, or is he just going face? Wow. This, uh, this aggro shaman, though. Alright. In this case, I think I'm just going to discover. And we'll go with the Shadow Word Pain. And I'll throw down the Anoyatron. Ooh, Zombie Chows can shoot through his armor too. So Zombie Chows are really good in heroic mode. Discover a minion, alright. Let's see what he does on 4 mana. Ooh, 5 mana. Anubisoth Sentinel. I, I think I have to kill that. So I'll just Holy Smite it. Yep. Seems like the plan. But first, let's discover a minion. Black Knight. I don't think he's going to be playing taunts. I'll grab the Sludge Belcher. So we'll hit that. 
we are. And I don't know where the zombie chow. I guess I'll play the chow. So far, so good. Although, I am really afraid of what he's going to start doing as his damage, I mean, his hand gets ridiculous. Okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Dark Bomb on the Zombie Chow? Alright, that's fair, I suppose. Ooh, Power Word Shield, I can use that to draw two. Okay, so I guess I just trade, trade. Yeah, this one first, because it might hit this. Alright. Discover a minion. Confessor Palestras. That might be good later on. And here we are going to play that. Hit face. I think I'm going to need... Uh, well, I can't actually do the Pile Ward Shield Genie combo on turn 5. Oh boy. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, that's a good card. Is that enough, though? Uh, it is if I use Power Wood Shield as well. Or I just trade. I think I just trade here. Honestly. Should have probably done this first. Ooh, Tink Master Overspark. Versus Foe Reaper 4000. Uh, both are legit. I mean, Phil Reaper might actually be better, but this this helps me out more next turn. I I think I need to have an answer for his, like, 8 drops. Behold, the might of and that's what I wanted him to play. Ooh. Now, can I land it on that so I can hit that? Well, YOLO. Hit the good one! Damn it! It's even a 2 2 squirrel, what the hell? Okay, let's grab a new minion. Um, Sun Fury Protector? I guess? Ugh, oh, this doesn't look good. Yes. Resurrect. I guess I'll try that. I don't know what I'm looking for. Not really a zombie chow. Alright. I have a feeling he's just going to go face. This is getting scary. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Oh wait, I do have one drops? Okay, good. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> I am so dead. Oh boy. Uh, this is where you need a brawl. Confessor Peros Trust? That's not going to save me. Um, I, I mean, how much damage am I looking at? 7, 11, uh, 7 12, 14, 20, 24, plus Leper Gnome Death Rattle. That is not helpful. Do I just Death Lord? Sludge Belcher? No, I should have. Uh, we'll damage control as much as possible. Right away. Give out your raider, strength master, master, I guess. Nah, I'm pretty dead. Alright, wish for Valor. Okay, that's not helping me at all. Wow. The smork is pretty real here. You gotta have a AoE to clear this stuff off. Three attack minion till the end of the turn. Hmm. This is no place for mortals. <laughs> Ow, 
Ouch. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, curse you, heroic mode genie. Zinar. All right, I think I know how we got to change this. Okay. So, maybe we do warrior instead, to be actually honest. Um, yeah, I like the sound of that. I don't need that control build right now. Warrior, double brawl. Go. Warrior, you know what else goes great with warrior? Baron Uh, what else is great for board clear? Whirlwinds? Yeah, somewhat. Whirlwinds, uh, revenge. Cruel tasks, them execute. Don't think I need the card draw at all. So executes, uh, shield slams, bash. Bouncing blade actually seems pretty good. Uh, what else? Zombie chow. It's just way too good to pass up on. Also, uh, he has the camels, which brings a random one drop onto the field from both decks. So I definitely want to have at least a couple one drops. Um, let's see here. Axe Flinger is actually not too shabby. Oh, weapons, of course. Eh, though, then again. Hmm, might be just kind of playing into his hand. Armorsmith's not too bad. Let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else? Tharzan is actually pretty good, considering I'm getting a bazillion card draw. That seems totally reasonable to me. Uh, Shield Maiden might be good. Then again, if you're gonna play that, your power, why not just play just a card true heart? What else do we need here? Big game hunter. Hmm. Not quite. Oh, Pyromancer. Yeah. Pyro, I, I do believe, is really good. Anything that combos with spells. So we could even say Gadget Saiyan Auctioneer. To an extent, I don't know if it's worth actually putting in. And we do eventually need a way to actually kill him, so... Eh, let's just throw in this ledge voucher. I think just running him out of cards is fine. Eventually, he'll just draw through his whole deck, and that's how we'll win. So, super defense. Solo adventures. Heroic. Zinar. Super defense. Alright. Cool, cool. Kerash versus Zinar! Finally free! Okay, I'll keep that whirlwind in case of board flooding. Uh, actually, I'll keep the brawl too. I know I'm gonna need that at. Like turn five, six, seven. Okay, doing nothing is alright. Discover a spell, that's good. Ooh, he's just gonna rock biter for three damage? Alright, that's fine. I will axe that, pretty sure. But let's see. Ooh, well, actually, hmm. Maybe Cruel Task is better. Ooh, more whirlwinds and more revenges. Revenge will be really good if I get low on HP. And if I get low on HP, then I'm going to need it. So I'll actually take more revenges instead of the whirlwind. Because having like five three damage board clears is going to be insane. The three revenges and two brawls. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Forgotten Torch, whatever. And I'll axe that one, probably. Discover a minion. Yeah, let's kill it with the pyro. Pyro, really good. Whenever an enemy minion dies, summon a leper gnome. That might actually be good. I'll, I'll grab that. Plus, it's really fun. 
I, I haven't really gotten to play with him except for one or two arena modes. Okay, another minion. Fire elemental. Is he going to use it on my face or the guy? Okay, reasonable. I think I just got a... Yik. Yeah, let's see what this is going to give us. Refreshment fender? Sure, I'll just play the refreshment fender. Maybe he trades, maybe he goes face. Either is okay with me. Discover a four cost card. And rowing torch on the minion. Okay. I'm surprised he drew it so quickly. Oh, yeah, thanks for the free zombie chow. Oh my gosh. The board flooding begins. Do I just brawl here? Maybe I just brawl. Uh, do I have any other options? Could whirlwind an axe and then hit that. Whirlwind axe bash. Axe bash hit. Uh, I think I'm okay with that. Am I though? Tricky. Let's see what the forecast card is first. <laughs> Magnetoy Alpha? It's kind of legitimate. Alright, sure. I don't really want to take five. Okay, I can axe, hit that, and then bash with the zombie chow. Okay, I like that. Let's do that. Nice. And next turn, maybe he plays a bazillion things and I'll just brawl his ass. I mean, I'm sure he will because he has 10 mana. Overtime. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, he's out of one drops too? Okay. I definitely think I have to brawl here. Yeah. Worst case scenario, do Maul Shaman, but I can survive that at least. And then I'll be in revenge range. Shooters discovered first, though, in fairness. Okay, what survives? The Raptor. Okay, that's the least bad. Uh, let's see, discover a minion. And maybe I save that, actually. Do I want to hit the Raptor? I don't think so. I'll try to get myself about 12 HP here, and then I can start revenging. Okay, I think we're gonna be good. Then I can... Oh, is he gonna silence my zombie chow? <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, silence your own cards. What?! <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Okay, so now we can start using revenge. And this is where I just went. Sick. Uh... How defensive do I want to play? Do I want to do the Magnetar Alpha? I don't think he's going to have 10 burst damage. I really hope so. And this is a more secure play, to be honest. And really, I need to use those wishes. But I'll, I'll wait in case I get a Wild Pyromancer. Okay, don't draw 10 burst damage. Does, does that deck have Lava Burst? I can't remember. Hmm. Okay, right. That's not too bad. Um, guess I have to trade though, don't I? Or do I? Well, let's see what I get from a spell. Shield slam is pretty good. I could just shield slam them. Yeah, why not? And where went? Well, what's the spell first? Shield block. Oh, I will definitely take a shield block. Tharzan, not bad. And I think we're going to be good here. How many cards? He's only got 12 cards left in his deck. Wait, what happens when he decks out? I wonder if he has some secret. Like, is this just straight up, okay, survive the aggro and you win? Or is it way more than that? Oh, unfortunately for you, they both die at the same time. I think. I'm hoping here. Magnetor Alpha, do your shit. They both die? Yes. Sick. Oh, whoops. Well, 
Whatever. Actually, I'd rather on the up. Once again, I, I, I'm really bad with those wishes. I need to... I definitely should have played them, because I would have gotten a discount on them. Whoops. Well, whatever. Okay, forgotten torch the Thorazin. You can't let Thorazin live. Way too valuable. Ooh, I definitely have this one in the bag. Let's see. What? Yeah. Ooh, I'll take that. Give me a quest. Another good card you can play with this uh, this set. Battle Rage for two card draw. Oh, it's totally unnecessary. I'll just take Shield Slam again. Give me a minion. Uh, the Taunt. Harvest Golem. Maybe I want the Taunt just in case now. I'll, I'll just play a Sludge Belcher. And... That can be Shield Slammed. I'll play this just a card later, just in case he has like three Alakirs in his hand and somehow has a way to cheat them all out. Or just do it that way. Yeah, after he gets to the point where he's already at max mana, there's not too much to worry about. Now, three of those would be scary. I'd actually almost die to that. I would die to that. Okay. So that won't be an issue. Just gotta... You know, I, I want to play this as defensive as possible. I just want to win. Maybe I even sack the Tharzan. Another Magnetar Alpha seems good. Um, No way, I have a Shield Slam. Okay. I can't imagine losing from this position. I really can't. Just in case I want to kill him before he totally decks out, so I got like three turns. The Fire Lord. Okay, if only I had BGH in my hand. Maybe I'll get it right now. Okay, get some free Lucky Gnomes, not bad. And let's see what minion this is. Varian Ren. Um, I'll take the Sludge Boucher. <laughs> Man, this is such pansy play, but I mean, he is an aggro deck, so Varian isn't exactly the card you want versus that. Alright, he's just dead. Sweet. One guy down. Everything dies! Oh, nice. That wasn't too bad. Only two attempts. So, heroics and all, everybody. There you go.